please welcome to the stage the very sexy, very funny, Miss Cassandra Chase! Came out of nowhere for you guys. Oh man, this is crazy. Look at all of you here for comedy, local comedy that is. Oh man, it's the 31st. So your rent is due tomorrow. <laughs> what better way to spend it at the bar? Comedy. Oh man, this is a pretty intimidating show for me. This is the most I've ever performed for. And before the show, well actually a bunch of comedians are think that this is the big show. It's the big one. This one is for the books. So they take it as an excuse to tell you everything you do wrong. <laughs> I had like four or five comedians come on, like, okay, this is what you do wrong every single time you do a show. So I'm very self conscious like, oh no, I can't put my hand on my hips, I can't laugh. <laughs> 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 so let's just dive into it, and hopefully they can just go fuck themselves. <laughs> the other day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I stole a fish. Um, and I gave him a name because, you know, naming your fish is very crucial to your person-fish relationship. I named him D.B. Cooper because no one knows where that fucking fish went. <laughs> Not because he hijacked an airplane and stole $200,000, but that would be a pretty cool family guy cutaway. You just see a baby like, all right, I'm taking this plane right now. I don't actually know all the D.B. Cooper facts. But then again, <laughs> who does? <laughs> but speaking of Family Guy, I've never liked Family Guy until I realized <laughs> why. <laughs> Let me get to it, sir. Hold your hands down. I never liked Family Guy because I just hated how much they picked on Meg. And then when I watched the newer seasons, and Meg was crying, as per usual, someone knocked on my door. Why are you crying? <laughs> I'm fucking Meg! <laughs> That's why I hate Family Guy, because I always feel like Meg. <laughs> and when I got to the episode where they asked her what her stance on abortion is, and she's like, usually like this. <laughs> I was like, wow, she I am Meg Griffin. <laughs> but dang it, gotta do it. So nervous. All right, so, <laughs> God dang it. That's as far as I got on my planning stage, as you can tell. <laughs> Stroke. Oh. I was like, oh my god, your mom's a nice lady. <laughs> so you are a nice lady for being here. <laughs> this is a term of endearment. Swear. <laughs> and then my other homegirl, she is here as well. And she's the type of person where it's like, you should do this as a joke. And then she'll tell me the worst joke in the world. <laughs> It's true. It's true. Sometimes you have your moments, but girl, that she goes, this is what you should tell on stage. So I'm gonna tell it on stage. <laughs> when your friends set you up with another friend and it's like the ugliest dude you've ever seen. Like, oh my god, is that so funny? <laughs> It is my first one on my own. And, well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and it's gotten to the point where I was like, you know what? 
I think I need to do porn to like be able to stay afloat. <laughs> so I found a Craigslist ad that said two hundred to three thousand dollars, depending on what you're willing to do. It's like I could totally take a shit on someone for three thousand dollars. I I would have I couldn't be shit on, but I could shit on someone else. Shots, clothes. They actually added that part. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, okay, sweet. So I did. They're like, ooh, uh, maybe when you lose 30 pounds. I know. I was like, <laughs> I was like, well, can I at least do fat porn? <laughs> trips to the UP and she got super pissed and she goes I don't know how I can ever trust you again and so I was trying to be cute so I sent her a picture of my face and I was like does this face look like who lied to you she goes yes whores lie to people all the time I was fired from a job and the main reason was because I told I like he needed help on his phone like he needed to set up Gmail or something so I was like okay we got to reset your password I go to the internet browser so I did there's six tabs of porn open and it's not just your regular run-of-the-mill amateur porn it's like teen amateur Teen, ebony, asshole fucking, poetry doing. <laughs> I don't know porn titles. I don't know. I probably should have done my research before. I was like, you know what? Let's do porn. And so I told his girlfriend, I was like, dude, you can't believe what I just found. It's the funniest thing ever. And he got really mad about that. Because, you know, women aren't okay with porn. I didn't know that. <laughs> and so he fired me because of that. And he's like, you better not tell anyone else. <laughs> so I had to take the opportunity to enlighten you all. <laughs> so recently I went to a college party, and when I say college, I mean it's people who don't understand what it means to be an adult. <laughs> So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bring stuff to make gin and tonics, and I'll be good. And when I get there, I was like, what? Was this? What's a gin and tonic? I was like, you guys are way too young to drink. <laughs> and at this party, there was a guy that was like trying to hook up with me all night. I was like, no, 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 no I haven't shaved my legs in like three weeks, dude. <laughs> You're not gonna put out? Fuck you. So, shit, I didn't bring my phone, but I was gonna take a Snapchat and have all the guys go, fuck you, Drew, but I don't have my phone. I'll just do it myself. Yeah, that Drew. Yeah, that Drew. Yeah. Yeah, that one. Yeah. But, I mean, this one could have been worse. I could not only be broke, but I could be pregnant as well, which I'm not, so, yeah. exact opposite. She's like, you gotta get married, you gotta have babies, right now. No, um. But anyway, where that joke was gonna go is I'm a modern woman. I like to solve my problems in a new way. I heard someone clap like they know what's gonna happen. Shut up. And so I'm, I'm not one to take the stairs route when I'm uh, faced with that kind of problem. I'm more of a person that takes the cheese route. And I know everyone here 
besides the people for this joke, is looking a little confused. If you eat soft cheese while you're pregnant, you'll get a bacterial infection and you'll lose the baby. <laughs> If you ever face that problem, just eat a big old tub of cheese. It's the best solution to anything. Heart's broken, tub of cheese, soft cheese. Pregnant, soft cheese. Sad, soft cheese. Pregnant again, you have a problem. <laughs> It's gonna be February, you guys. You know what that means? You have two weeks to get your shit together for Valentine's Day. And I'm here to help you out. The person who's been single since junior high. So, it's okay, don't worry, I'm getting my fucking in. Don't worry. So, so, this is the ultimate pickup line. I heard this from a homegirl, so if this is from the internet, I'm sorry. I can't memorize the internet, so. Best pickup line ever. Sir, can you hold this? I'm trying to hold your hand, sir. <laughs> Not shake your hand, hold it. I'm holding your hand. Staring at you. Okay. That's how you that's how you get them. Ready <laughs> to demonstrate again for you people? Gender equality. Ma'am, do you want to count shoulders? One, two, three, four. <laughs> jump in the shower with them, they will like me. <laughs> Alright, okay, I see. I see how you bitches are. The <laughs> I really don't have anything else. I don't know what else to do for you guys. I don't know how to please you the way you deserve to be pleased. Someone's approaching. Or not. <laughs> beautiful comedy and liquor night. The last time I was here, I pissed my pants so bad. <laughs> the backstory, the backstory on that, and actually when I got here, one of my homegirls came to me and was like, thank God no one peed their pants this time. <laughs> but the backstory on that is, was for guys night, and we were like, you know what? Pre-gaming is always a good idea. So we're doing shots, partaking in the devil's lettuce. And they're like, you know what, let's go downtown, because that's always a good idea while you're under the influence of anything. And so we get here, and I'm trying to cross the road in my pedestrian mode, walking. And we like to play this game where we shout out the window in a passing car. You shout according to gender. Chances are they're gonna turn around and freak out. And if I could have my homegirl demonstrate the craziest version of this, can I go that far? You're gonna have to walk, girl. myself. In the middle of the road. So I'm walking like this. Oh no. Oh fuck, it's happening. It's happening. Oh. It's just walking. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. It happened. It happened. So I go into the, like, what am I supposed to do? Just piss my pants in the middle of the street. So I go into Horizon Books, like, okay girl, you gotta wash yourself off. So I'm trying to wash myself. I'm wearing a dress too, so this works. So I'm like washing my legs, and I was like, oh no, my dress has a big old wet spot. What do I do? I fell in a puddle. <laughs> I gotta get the sides to make this look real. <laughs> so I do that. 
But while I'm still like in the leg washing uh, phase of covering this up, there are three ladies behind me waiting for the restroom, and they're doing one of these. <laughs> <laughs> so I get all paranoid and whatnot, run down to the basement, that's when I start dipping my dress into the sink. It was a bad night, and we still had to walk from Horizons to Echo. We had to go by so many strippers and drunk guys, and it was horrible. What if I pushed up against them and was like, what was that wetness? It was my piss. <laughs> And I'm past, just past coherent. I'm just like white girl parting it up, just like, whoa, 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 just about to, she knows, she knows. So I try to go on the other side of her. That doesn't work, it doesn't work. And that night they were like, all right, you got seven minutes, just do whatever. So I told everyone that I peed my pants. And I was like, oh no, what if Maddie thinks I pissed my pants here? And then I'll never be able to come back here. And I never said that when I did my seven minutes, so Maddie, I never piss my pants here, <laughs> but the evening is still young. <laughs> I'm just saying, Chase, we have a great lineup waiting for you. Have a beautiful night. Please give it up and give her some pull-ups, Miss Cassandra.